Hello everyone, and welcome back to another video. And today I am going to be playing some BT86. This is a new game that was released, um, I think three days ago, four days ago. And it's amazing. First, I, I might show you some of the new um, towers. And first off, there are four heroes. Heroes are pretty, they're extremely OP. And you can have one of each of them in a game. My favourite is Quincy. Which is basically uh, a bow and arrow guy. And they all have um, two abilities. Then there's Gwendolyn. Striker Jones. And Obin Greenfoot. I haven't actually I haven't actually used um, Obin Greenfoot yet. I've used these three. My favourite is definitely Quincy. And let's go look at the new towers. Okay, so as you can see, in each, like, thing, they're graded differently. Like, each. There's three, four different types. So, there's support, which is basically there isn't anything that isn't monkeys. So there's monkey villagers, spike factories, and banana homes. They're all normal. Then the magic. There are two new ones. They're the only two new normal towers, other than heroes. The alchemist and the druid. The military is helipilot, monkey ace, all the odd ones. And primary is just all the normal ones. So, tap shooter, monkey dart, all that good stuff. Hmm. Oh, okay, and there's knowledge. So basically, every time you level up past level 30, you get a monkey knowledge. With each monkey knowledge, you can get a new ability. So there's a ton of new ones you can get. So right now, I've got one. So glue gun a 10% increase attack speed. That's pretty good. Frag bomb gets two extra frags. So this is all the um, primary tower knowledge. I can upgrade my support, my magic. So support is basically... Um, yeah, I'll show you what support towers are first. Powers. Oh, here you go. So here's support. So, so basically, um, remember the agents in BTD5? This is basically them. The portable Lake, um, Banana Farm, uh, um, Super Monkey Storm, Plantoon, Rose Bikes. Or well, I don't know if Rose Bikes weren't really um, a special agent, but yeah. This is all the new powers. They're pretty cool. I haven't actually used any of them yet. Well, let's go back here. So I can upgrade any of these. So how about I'm gonna upgrade my heroes. All heroes get slightly increased range. Heroes explosives can pop two more blues per shot. Hero level ten percent. Hero level ten ability. Oh, that's okay. I'm probably gonna go with some slightly increased range. Okay. And now I'm going to show you the new maps. All of the maps are new, and today we might mm, we might just do an intermediate. We might do. We'll just stream bed. I haven't actually done it yet. This would be pretty cool. We'll go standard. And unlike uh, BTD5, there are actually four. Um, 40 rounds you have to pass instead of 50. Which makes it quick. Makes it pretty quicker. Um, pretty quicker. <laughs> makes it much quicker. I like to start off with my hero. Put him right there. What's great is that at the start of the game, that's not a hero, whoops, that's a dark monkey. Anyway, good enough. Why is there white gaps? I don't know why it says that they're white. This is weird. <laughs> this might be a glitch, actually. Oh, wow. Okay. And as you can see... Alright, let, let's get our hero down. Oh, and the... Um, are now free upgrade puffs. Instead of two puffs, they're actually free now. So remember, if we go bottom, then you end up getting the crossbow, and the crossbow is extremely OP. I love it. So bottom is crossbow, I'm pretty sure. The middle is triple darts, and the top is the juggernaut. So we're going to go crossbow, and let's get quick shots. Maybe later I'll show some gameplay of the... I'll show some gameplay of where are the new towers at. Here, Druid. Oh no, whoops. The Druid and Alchemist. We'll try to get them out soon. So right now, Dark Monkey's doing heaps of work. See, round seven already. The rounds are extremely quick, which is a good thing. I like it. I haven't actually done any impoppable yet. Okay, here, let's get out the Alchemist. 
This guy is kind of like a glue gun in a way. What the heck? This glitch is so weird for some reason. I can't see the price or what it's called. That's extremely weird. And I want to show you something on the upgrades right now. So basically, see how it says X Dark Monkey XP? For every like balloon and pops, you get a tiny bit of XP. And the XP that you get, you'll be able to use um, upgrades. So you can permanently unlock the upgrades in every round. You have every game. You have to buy the upgrades. So basically, if we go here, let's go see. Oh, whoops, we can go. So see here, there's this is the tier five. Tier five is basically like you can only have one one tier five tower in the whole game, in the whole round, because they're extremely overpowered. So I need. I've only got five thousand XP, and I need to get fifty thousand. So yeah. <laughs> I can't remember what the names are for any of these. And <laughs> there's actually a glitch. I'm not seeing any of them. That's so weird. <gasps> Round 10 already. That's pretty fast. And when it comes up, we can see it. Oh, you, you can faintly see it. Um, So you can only have one hero. You can only select the one. And I selected Quincy. Because Quincy is my boy. And then all the others are green, they're for the normal ones. And then military is green. Magic is... Yeah, magic's purple. And then support is yellow, I believe. We actually have... Oh, no, 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 I don't want to remove anything. Nope. Oops. Oh, okay. So what it is... See how there's the objects? Um, if I was... See, if I was to put this down... See where the red is? It can't shoot past there. So as you can see, you can remove any of these obstacles. I don't really need to remove it. I'm not going to waste 1,000. I don't think that's worth it. Actually, I'm going to remove it just to show you guys what it's like. I can remove it just proper. And now, if we put something down... I don't even have enough money to put anything down. I love the alchemist. It's so good. And for everything, so I'm pretty sure for everything there's uh, one new path. Well, instead of having three, they had to add upgrades. They had to add upgrades. So the twin guns is normal. Instead of they just added triple guns and armor dissing, armor piercing darts. Like these are dissing parts. <laughs> um, ballistic missile, first strike capability. And then for submerged and support, they did Blintonium Reactor and Energizer. Shoots homing Torp E darts. Oh wow, instead of Torp E darts, they did Torp E darts. And Neo Wings. That's pretty, that's pretty good. I'm, I'm probably still seeing off of that. And they're out for all the, I'm pretty sure all normal upgrades are kept. Oh, we're actually taking a tiny little bit of damage here. That's weird. We'll upgrade our outcomes too. I'm going to go into the settings because I think I might have changed that now. Hmm, that's weird. Okay, well. Oh, right, yeah, we're definitely going to get down the ninja for the camera support. Actually, camo leads, so we are going to put down this guy. The Monkey Apprentice, which is also a tower in BCD5. And as you can see, the middle is fire, so it's obviously going to end up in, um, what's it called? The, the fire was, I can't remember what the path's called, I'm so sorry. What was that? Oh, yeah, that one just then was Persian Persians. And like normal, you can set all your balloons to like first, last, strong, first, last. Wait, I'm pretty sure you can do close. Oh, yeah. So there's four settings first, last, strong, close. And that's for each of them. Yeah, dra oh, okay, here we can see the names. So there's Dragon's Breath, Guided Magic, and Incense Magic. Pretty sure the bottom ends up being. Oh, so we need to look at the bottom so we can hit the cameras. And we're going to save it for the middle one so we can hit. Um, Oh wow, in 15 rounds of mobs, the first mobs actually coming. We probably need to start getting some good stuff down. 
the wall of fire is extremely OP, which is one of its new upgrades. Oh, we can actually upgrade something. Very cool, so we're going to get the Shimmer. Hurls magical bolts of energy at the balloons, can upgrade to a variety of powerful spells. Oh, that's pretty good. Look at that. We're still going to go for Dragon's Rift. I'm just, um, I've unlocked it, so now I can upgrade it. Oh, I don't even have Quincy down. Whoops. Quincy. Okay. <laughs> These guys actually talk, which is pretty funny. Yeah. Every time you click on them. You want some? Yes. You want some? I am Quincy, son of Quincy. <laughs> He's Quincy, son of Quincy. That was great. Uh, we're not going to upgrade the alchemist any further. When you get this guy to high level, he's actually like, extremely overpowered. So you see how every round, it the level goes up and you can also unlock it. So I just spent 150 just to get the upgrade a bit quicker. The 150 shouldn't hurt too much. We might actually sell that alchemist now. Because it's really not doing too much. I just did it for you guys to see the gameplay. Basically, he's like, froze potions, that's it. He's still pretty cool though. We're not going to go for the crossbow. As it's round 32, we probably need to start doing some better you stuff. Wait, oh, all of my stuff can hit cameras, that is very good. I'm gonna go for one quick soup monkey. And the soup monkeys, oh wait, whoops. The soup monkeys in this game, they actually, I think they, I feel like they have a lot less range. You need to, the range is definitely a priority to upgrade. We're probably gonna put it like down here. In range. Okay, there you go. So when the mob comes, it should get wrecked. Hopefully by Quincy. They all come with an um, um, instant ability. When they, it always, it, all abilities are in the bottom left corner. You can hide and show like what I'm doing now. So that's pretty great. Oh, and he, Quincy just leveled up, so he's now level 6. Right, round 35. Kind of sad they took out the special agents, because I enjoyed like using the turtle one. It was pretty cool. Putting on water and land. Let me see what that does. Dark, oh, okay, yeah. Of... Oh, okay, I don't really need that, because all kind of blooms in its radius can already be seen. So you're all good with that. Oh, and now I can get the fire. Oh, and in the option menu, I'll show you what you can do. You can turn off game hints. You can do line of sight, which is the red thing that I was showing you, where they can hit. Drop and lock, which I, I do not like drop and lock. I like drag and drop. And then order start for rounds. So, yeah. Order normal stuff. I don't know what the store is. Oh, okay. I'll go see what the store is though. I think it just takes you to like the upgrades maybe. Oh, I have no idea. Round 37, we're getting ready for our first Moab. And the Moabs actually look like, they look a lot, like very different to what they do look like in BTD5. Mm -hmm. Okay. We got our wizard for the LEDs, which is all good. I don't know if I think we're gonna take some damage here. Shouldn't take too much, it should be good. Alright, we're gonna take a tiny bit of damage. What's annoying is I can't skip this. <laughs> Come on, let's go like slightly faster for us. Seriously? Oh well, when we take damage, they say seriously. Okay, we are going to go and upgrade our... Alright, we're going to upgrade him to crossbow. So I'm pretty sure he just got further range, which is pretty good. And sharpshooter is a tier 5, and we definitely do not have enough money for that. And my game just lags. <laughs> and be cautious, because big TD5 actually uses, like, a lot of your phone's battery. Oh, and round 39. Um, round 40 is the next round, and we're getting the Moab. And the Moab's texture actually looks amazing. I'll show it to you guys. Oh, and there are critical hits now, which is pretty cool. I don't, I don't really know how they work, 
when you just randomly get them. It, it, it's pretty nice, I guess. It's a nice surprise. Let's see if monkeys are at the back, just clearing everything out. We should all be, we should be, be all good with that. And then I think it's done. Okay, there's the first mod. And it is going to get obliterated. There you go. That is an easy, that is an easy, or well, intermediate map, on easy difficulty, completed. Seriously? And for, yeah. And you can go free play mode, except we're not going to do that in this, today's episode. I'm just going to go home. And yeah, that's most of the new stuff in BTD, um, BTD6. There are a few new monkeys, or oh, I already showed them to you, didn't I? If we go play. All the maps, the expert maps. Oh, we just unlocked all the advanced maps. Maybe in the next episode we could have one of them. Hashtag ouch, I really want to see that one. Okay, cool. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed the quick gameplay of BCD6. And I'll see you guys all later. So, goodbye.